From a skyscraper that will climb one mile into the sky and will be the center of New Tokyo, to a bionic tower that will be a self-contained vertical city housing over 100,000 people. With each decade that passes, the vertical limits of how high skyscrapers can be built just keeps going up. In today's video, we go around the world and look at some of the world's tallest skyscrapers of the future. But before we continue, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Mega Cities. Let us know in the comments below which skyscraper of the future you enjoyed the most. Number 5. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, Kuwait City. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, a mega tall skyscraper with a planned height of 1,001 meters, is scheduled to be built in Kuwait City. It will be a part of the future city of Medina Al Kabir, which will continue to span an area of 62,000 acres and include the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir. Medina Al Kabir will also include a nature reserve, a new airport, a significant business district, and its own Olympic Stadium. If the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir is built as scheduled in 2030, it will surpass the incredible Burj Khalifa in Dubai and cost an eye-watering $132 billion. The skyscraper is planned to be 1,001 meters high and linked to Kuwait City via an ambitious 36-kilometer metropolis. The architects designed unique double-decker and triple-decker elevators to service the tall tower. This enormous skyscraper is designed to have seven vertically stacked 30-story districts that will each contain apartments, workplaces, and hotels, all connected by many four-story town squares. The height of the building, which makes Mubarak Al Kabir subject to extremely strong winds, presented the greatest difficulty to the architects. In order to overcome this, the design will include three interlocking towers, each twisting at a 45-degree angle, as well as a number of vertices. The building's edges will have ailerons or tiny fins similar to those on an airplane. By modifying the location of these ailerons, the engineers will be able to divert winds and lessen structural vibrations. If completed, the amazing skyscraper will surpass the Burj Khalifa as the tallest structure in the Middle East. Number 4. Azerbaijan Tower, Baku, Azerbaijan Azerbaijan Tower, a skyscraper proposed in 2011 and is designed to be twice as tall as Taipei 101, it is a component of the $100 billion project known as the Khazar Islands, which consists of artificial islands that will eventually form a floating city of 1 million people on the Caspian Sea. Ibrahim Ibrahimov, president of the Avesta Group of Companies, stated that the Azerbaijan Tower would be 1,051 meters tall with 189 floors. The $2 billion tower was supposed to be the focal point of the Khazar Islands, a $100 billion city of 41 artificial islands spread across three hectares of land reclaimed from the Caspian Sea. The city will have a population of 1 million people, 150 schools, 50 hospitals and daycare centers, numerous parks, shopping malls, cultural centers, university campuses, and a Formula One racetrack. All of these structures are designed to withstand earthquakes of up to a magnitude of 9.0. In addition, the city will have 150 bridges and a large municipal airport to connect the islands to the mainland. Ibrahim told reporters that American, Turkish, Arab, and Chinese investors have already expressed interest in the project, which he describes as a new Venice. The Azerbaijan Tower was supposed to be built in 2015 and finished around 2019. However, this construction project was later canceled. The Khazar Islands will be completed between 2020 and 2025. However, given the scope of the project, some experts believe it will not be completed until after 2030. Number 3. Bionic Tower, Shanghai The Bionic Tower is a futuristic vertical city designed for self-sustaining human habitation by Spanish architects Aloy Salea, Mara Rosa Cavera, and Javier Gomez. The main tower would be 1,228 meters tall with 300 stories and housing for approximately 100,000 people. The goal of the Bionic Tower is to use bionics to solve the world's rising population problems in an environmentally friendly manner, which is an extremely difficult feat to accomplish. The Bionic Tower is made up of two complexes joined together. The first complex, the Bionic Tower, is made up of 12 80-meter high vertical neighborhoods. Safety zones separate the neighborhoods to facilitate construction and evacuation in the event of an emergency. Each neighborhood has two groups of buildings, one on the inside and one on the outside. The second complex, known as the Base Island where the tower sits upon, would be nearly 1,000 meters in diameter. 
Both structures are built around large gardens and pools and comprises numerous buildings, gardens, pools, and communication infrastructures. These complexes intended use include hotels, offices, residential, commerce, cultural, sports, and leisure. Work on the prototype Bionic Vertical Space began in 1997. Architects Aloy Salea, Mara Rosa Severa, and Javier Gomez worked on this until the beginning of 2001. During his tenure as mayor of Shanghai, Zhu Kuangdi expressed interest in the concept and is working with the architects to make it a reality. Number 2. Nakheel Tower, Dubai Nakheel Tower is a planned skyscraper by the developer Nakheel and is said to be located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The Nakheel Tower was the first proposed in 2003 with a height of 1,400 meters and designed to be 200 stories tall. Costing over $38 billion, the skyscraper would have 156 elevators to carry some of the 55,000 guests and visitors. With an elevator taking four minutes to travel from the ground level to the observation deck located 1,000 meters high. With a proposed location as the centerpiece of the man-made sand island Palm Jumeria, the tower is designed using four individual towers connected by multiple sky bridges to form a single skyscraper look. The sky bridges would hold gardens and an open atrium is at the center of the four towers. If built, this would be the world's highest atrium. At the top of each of the individual towers, wind slots allow wind to pass through the upper reaches of the structure, reducing wind load. The tower would be powered by solar panels and wind turbines to be environmentally friendly as possible. Interestingly, this skyscraper of the future actually began construction. Breaking ground in 2008 was set to add to Dubai's reputation of mega-tall skyscrapers. However, only one year later, the mega-project was canceled due to the economic impacts of the Great Financial Crisis. Recently, though, Nakheel is in talks with a number of potential contractors, including Samsung CNT of South Korea, who also built the Burj Khalifa, Japanese Shimizu Corporation, and Australian WSP to resume construction to make this project come to life. Number 1. Sky Mile Tower, Tokyo, Japan The Sky Mile Tower, which would stand over 1 mile high at 1,700 meters tall and is planned for construction in Tokyo. With a total of 421 floors, the tower will hold over 55,000 people. Born out of the Next Tokyo 2045 initiative, this tower would serve as the centerpiece of an entirely new district built on water out in the Bay of Japan. The main structure of the tower forms a hexagonal shape with a tapering shape that allows wind to pass through. This tapering allows multiple sky decks to be integrated into the tower. Looking inside, the hexagonal shape reveals multiple sets of interlinked vertical columns. The columns are overlapped around every 60 to 90 floors. Consisting of a set of inner walls that would be braced with the outer walls would be sheer concrete. Small columns along the perimeter would support the concrete floors, and trusses every 30 to 40 floors would transfer that load out to the exterior concrete walls. It will also include a cutting-edge new transportation system with the lifts traveling both vertically and horizontally around the tower in order to help transport the guests. In the upcoming Tokyo district, there will be other hexagonal towers ranging in height from 150 to 1,500 meters high. The new district would have multiple harbors, urban farming, and a vacuum tube public transportation system developed by Elon Musk. Innovative new technology would allow the tower to collect rainwater and moisture from the clouds and distribute it at various heights rather than pumping water hundreds of meters up the tower, a water system that has yet to be included in any megatall skyscraper design. So with Tokyo continuing to grow, it seems like it's just a matter of time till this 1700 meter tall mega tower and district on the water will be a thing of reality. So what do you think of all of these awesome skyscrapers? Do you think any of these have the potential of being built in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more similar mega projects, watch the two videos right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.